Welcome to a video from the dishlives.com. Two Windows builds to look at. We've got 23545 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel and 25951 for Windows Insiders on the Canary Channel. So I thought I'd show both builds in one video today, starting with the Canary build. There's not much in these builds. These are actually um, sort of Microsoft working on core features that will be uh, released in the future. Uh, so I'm not really user interface UI type stuff, but more under the hood stuff. So just a couple of things to mention in this build. If you're using uh, SMB with uh, NTLM network uh, connections, then uh, they can be blocked with these builds as well. So you can stop NTLM uh, via SMB. So uh, that's a security feature and admins can control that. The other thing with this as well, on the SMB, they can control the, uh, what they call a dialect manager. So SMB support uh, servers now support uh, SMB 2 and 3 dialects it'll negotiate. So you've got control over those. It's all about security. The other changes are they've made the lock screen flyout look better to match the UI of the other elements of the lock screen. And um, there's just a couple of known issues. Some games may not work correctly. Um, Microsoft say some popular games, so I don't know which ones those are, but if you could submit the issues on the feedback hub and the investigation reports that the print queue is no longer accessible if you've got a print set up. So um, not a huge amount in those, but this is all stuff for the future. Right, let's hop over to the dev channel build. Right, here we are on the dev channel, 23545. Uh, a few changes on this one, yes, this search uh, box is changing. Uh, Microsoft say instead of uh, providing a hover experience op that opens up on search box, we give you a different experience. So one is you can click on it and do things in it instead. Um, they click a gleam. Yeah, it looks a bit strange to me with that sort of see there. Um, yeah, uh, but Microsoft are trying out different way concepts, and that's what the dev channel is for. So you don't get the hover experience anymore. There is a change to the uh, share, uh, so if you go to, or it's in terms of making it easier to share by changing the name, so you can see there you, in the nearby share you can rename that, and make it easier to find. Uh, they're also rolling out the ability to see Microsoft Teams contacts that send directly to you in the Windows share, so if you're uh, using Teams, the work version, not the personal version, when you do the share you'll be able to see your contacts on there. Right, the rest of the changes just fixes. They fix some issues with uh, Explorer XE crashing and switching and crashing when switching between light and dark mode with the, the UI not switching correctly. Uh, they're fixing some issues with the galleries and they fix some issues with uh, tabs in File Explorer. Uh, they fix some issues with the taskbar uh, crashing. Um, or impacting uh, reliability by high CPU usage. I've seen that fix a couple of times, but I haven't actually had the issue yet. And um, they fixed some issues with the emojis as well. There are some known issues. There are no new known issues, but the known issues is uh, some apps like PWA apps installed via Edge may be labeled as system components, and there's some issues with Copilot not. Uh, Avail being available or not switching the focus around but there's no new known issues so that's it with these two builds i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and i'll show you more features as microsoft introduced them